So here in this example, I've got some students who've done maths and science. I want to know if they've passed. They only have to pass one subject to get a pass down here. And for that, I can use the OR function. So to do that, I'm here on my formulas tab. I can go into logical and choose OR from here. Otherwise, I can go into my insert function, which is here or up here in this top left corner. Click on that and it's got the logical category already selected. There is all. I could actually type it in at the top here if I don't know where to find it. Click on go and you'll see it's at the top there. Either way, all I've got to do now is click on OK. And here is my dialog box. So you can see the first bit of criteria logical one goes in here. It has to be filled in because it's bold. And I can have up to 255 conditions. So that could be 255 columns across here. So to do this, I just need to put in my criteria. So the first one is, did this one here, maths, is that greater than or equal to 50? Logical two is if science is greater than or equal to 50, 50 being the pass mark. If I was to take the equals out, and the equals does have to go second, it is anything greater than 50, but not including it. By putting the equals in there, it includes the 50. That is less than, so anything less than 50 would be true. So here it is greater than, and you see it's got true and false. Similar function is the AND function, but both of them have to be meet these criteria here to get this answer down here. So if this was AND, it would be false because one of them hasn't passed the criteria. This can be either of those. So by click, and you can see I can just add more here. I can, as I said, I can have 255. If I don't use them, it doesn't matter. I don't have to do anything here. It just ignores it. So click on there and you'll see if I use the autofill, this one here comes up false because they failed both. Okay, so if I was just to take this one here and make this one 49 as well, that becomes false too. Let's change that back to 51. So there you go. That is how you can use or to display something, whether it's true or false. So either of these and you could have more. So one thing I'm going to add in here, like I did with the AND function, is the IF statement. So you may have seen that. I've got a tutorial on that too. So if I click here, type in IF, which is the IF function, and a bracket. And then it looks to see if this is true or false. That's my logical test, which you can see is highlighted there. I can put a comma in. If it is true, they get a pass. This just neatens it up, really. And otherwise, it's a fail. And then just close brackets. You can see I've got a comma between each one of these arguments here. Press Enter. Use Autofill to copy it down. And you'll see that one here comes up with a fail. So that is how you can use the OR function. And I've just incorporated a little bit of nesting it inside the IF function here.